Good morning, Pisces. I hope everyone woke up feeling good, energized, refreshed, clear-headed. God bless you all. Everybody that's liked, subscribed, done personals. I appreciate every single one of you. And trust me, a piece of you stays with me. So, yeah, I feel you guys. And I wish you all the best. And I know that you're going to get everything and anything that you want. You know why? Because I could feel you. And I feel you in this moment that you are bigger and stronger than any obstacle that you may face. God bless you all. All right, we're going to be doing overall energy, current energy, person you're dealing with, and the outcome for Pisces. Always for Pisces. You're building a wall right now. You are building a wall because there's somebody in your life that you're trying to keep out. I don't know if they're still trying to like climb over the wall, but they're still trying to get around you. It's like they want to be in your space. So maybe it's someone that wants you back. Or someone that's playing with you. Ooh, I just felt that. Like, yeah, like they're playing with you. Like they're being inconsistent about what they want. So you're making the decision. And you're saying, let me build this wall high enough so that way you can't even climb it anymore. Because I'm so over this. Current energy for pentacles. Ooh, yeah, you're trying... You're trying to keep the emotions inside because you do love this person. You are lying to yourself. You are lying to other people. You There's this deep thing with you and this person. But here's the thing. You're like, I can't go there no more. I can't do this anymore. I can't put myself in that situation anymore. So I got to be smart in how I channel this energy. Because... I am channeling this energy differently. What I feel here is that you're taking your failures and heartaches and you're turning them into successes. The person you're dealing with, Six of Cups. Oh, yeah, I feel it. Mm -hmm. When you're around this person, you feel like children again. It's amazing. You let all your guards down. But maybe I got this card too because this person is watching out for his kids. Maybe not with you. I don't know. But there's this energy of this person that, you know, can break down all those walls and sees the real you at times. At times. I don't know why I felt that, but it was at times. The outcome, the wheel of fortune, this will pass. If you keep building it, it will come type of feeling. Like keep moving in that direction of getting away from this person. And it'll be over. That feeling that you get from this person will be no more. You'll be in a different realm. All right, let's go deep into it. The overall energy, 10 of wall, walls, 10 of wands, building the wall. That's what you're doing. You're working hard. You're trying to ignore this person. You're trying to focus on your work. You're trying to find other things that make you happy to distract you from how much you actually love this person. Uh, look at that you got the king of swords and the king of wands 
you might be trying to move on to other people too. It could be. I feel that with both of them. It's very possible that you might be saying, you know what, the best medicine for me to get over this person is to get on another person. That's very possible for some of you out there. For others, I feel like it's a stance that you're taking. It's like, don't cross this line and we'll be fine. Because I, if I cross this line with this person, I'm going to be an emotional mess again. This person's going to walk all over me like he, you, he or she used to. So I got to stay strong. I got to protect myself. And then the king of the swords, he's telling me, but you have this passion for this person, but I feel like you can have passion for others. Like there's something about passion for others. There might be somebody else that you're interested in right now. But maybe you think that's a long shot. I don't know. I feel like this could also be like a flirty card. Like you might be feeling a little flirty, a little sexy. Also investing times into your new projects. Building the wall. It's very smart, Pisces. Build that wall. The four of pentacles. What is going on there? Wow, and we have the king of cups and the chariot. Wow. King of Swords, King of Wands, King of Cups. You're trying to hold it all together because you need the stability right now. I think you finally got out of that place where you were mentally, emotionally unstable, or at least you're headed in that direction. And you know that this person having any say in your life is going to bring you down to where you used to be. So you're trying really hard to keep it all together. You're happy. In a way, I see you happy with the chariot. It's like you found all your senses. It's like you figured yourself out and you figured this person out too. You see clearly who this person is. And you also see clearly who you are and what you deserve and how much better things can be if you just apply yourself. And that's why you're applying yourself with the Ten of Wands. These King of Wands here, they mean something you might really find someone in the future or you currently could have someone else in your sight. I do feel that. You know, another thing it can mean that you are embodying being your own king or queen. You don't need anyone else to fulfill you in every area of your life. That's what it could mean too. That's deep. All right, let's go into this person you're dealing with. The Six of Cups. My goodness, how he breaks down your walls, Pisces. Woo! <laughs> yes. You feel free. I'm feeling it right now. Yes, I love it. Like my best friend. <laughs> Well, if he was your best friend, you guys would probably be together, but I don't know the circumstances. And I know there's some weird ones out there. My best friends. My best friend. That's what I keep feeling. Oh my God. It's beautiful. But it broke you. And you got to build it. So can't climb. He or she can't climb over that wall again. We got the Seven of Cups and the Lovers. Let's see what's going on here. I feel like your person is with someone else right now. But the Seven of Cups is telling me that they're like empty in the mind. There's something wrong with them. 
I don't know if they have like a soul. Everyone has a soul. What I mean by that is like, I don't know how deep their soul is. They feel empty to me. There's not that many layers to them. They're very easy to figure out. Like they can, um, they're just confusing. You know what I mean? Like one minute they say one thing and then the next minute they say something else. It's like they contradict themselves a lot. A lot of hypocrisy comes out of their mouth. It's like a lot of judgment, but it's like, who are you to judge? Yeah, that's what I feel from them. I don't feel like they have the layers that I feel like a person should have, that I feel like most Pisces have. I do. There's something not so deep about them. And then we got the lover's card. Yes, they're enjoying their person or the person that they're with. But it, yeah, it's telling me that they are with someone else. But here's the thing. I feel like they play with you. I, that's what I'm seeing here with the Six of Cups. Something about they're playing with you too. So I don't know if they're just trying to have the other person and have you. Or it could mean also that this person... Might be starting a family soon with this other person, with this child card. Something to do with children, I don't know. Or it could be someone they have children with. But bottom line, I feel empty here in this space. I know you love this person, you fall weak for this person. But there's something a little soulless about them. I don't know. All right, let's go into the outcome. Tell me more about this will pass. If you build it, it will come feeling. Yes, that's what I want to see. You're hard at work right now, Pisces, to not let this person in again to distract your mind and put put your focus into things that can actually elevate you in life. Yes, Pisces, that's what I feel strongly here. This page of pentacles, and I, I've been feeling this with you and I continue feeling this with you. You found an outlet. You found some type of uh, holy grail to help you in this journey. For some, it's something that makes them a ton of money. For others, it's something that just uplifts their spirit and their soul. And it could be both for some of you. And I feel like it's saying in this outcome, things will change. The time will change for that. It'll be a different season. One where you're going to collect everything. You're going to be doing something that you love to do. And you know what it's going to result in? The four of wands. Happiness. Family. With someone else, possibly. Hopefully. Because this person feels soulless, but I don't know. I feel like it's saying that as you move more into the direction that God and destiny are pushing you through, that's where you'll meet this new person. It could be like in your job. I don't know. Or just in the right, it's going to be like the right timing. That's what I'm feeling. Everything is good. You're going to be in the perfect timing and this person's going to be in the perfect timing. All right. Let's get some advice from the Oshos.
spirit angels and ancestors please help me with this advice for pisces advice for pisces Damn, that's the second time. I think we got it yesterday or the day before. I don't remember. Really, Pisces? Let it go. Let it wash off your shoulder. I don't know. Don't you know? Yeah. The hardest part is over. Let it in. Let the clarity define you in the end. Yes. I think that was Rob Thomas back in the day. I don't know. I think it was in a cartoon, but whatever. I'm getting emotional right now because I feel a lot of you Pisces are working so hard to get away from this negative person, negative situation, this person that played with your heart. And you are looking, you are doing what I've, I've been saying, which is, Keep looking at the light. Even if it makes you blind, keep looking at the light. And that's what you're doing. And I'm getting emotional because I feel it. I feel your pain and I feel how hard you work. God loves that feeling. He does. He will help you. He will give you the strength you need. Okay. Um... Angels, let's give us a blessing for Pisces on this beautiful Saturday. Let us uplift the Pisces people. Help them in their journey to happiness, fulfillment. goddess of justice what seems an injustice is actually a blessing amen amen all this pain what doesn't feel fair what you know this person has done how you dropped and you know you picked yourself up you did it for you did it yourself that's what i feel like you did it on your own you did it with your mind and your heart and of course with the love of maybe family members or feel someone close to you but you did it. And don't think God doesn't notice that. And the universe doesn't notice that. It's going to all come back to you. Everything that you lost, you will gain tenfold. So let it be. All right, Pisces. Please like and subscribe. Thank you.